Welcome to Aspire interview series. Today I'm talking to Mr. Wojciech Przebylski, head of Kraków Technology Park. Good morning. Wojciech. Good morning, Łukasz. Mm -hmm. Aspire represents over 180 of the biggest companies present in Kraków. But only six years ago, there were less than 16,000 people in the industry. Now there are over 60,000 people. Do you think this growth of more or less single industry is a positive trend for Kraków and Małopolska, or do you see any potential risks attached to it? Of course, both. So it is very positive, but there are some potential risks as long as it stays very focused on financial services. I'd like it to grow both in uh, ITO, uh, materials and but also in other services and in other businesses. Yeah. Now the shift should be to build around the score of hard businesses and the 60,000 people doing some more and more complicated services to their like mother companies somewhere uh, in the world. Um, to build around it a community of tech-oriented companies, not only startups, also larger companies, and to make this possible synergy between BPO sector and startups and other tech companies happen, which won't be easy, but I believe it's possible. From your perspective, just to leverage, as they call it, or to use uh, the synergies of different processes on the market, what would you do next from the mm -hmm. perspective of the I guess city? there are two most probable areas of, um, of growth. The first is hard tech and mm -hmm. all engineering companies because Krakow is not only good, so Krakow based universities are not only good in um, IT education, IT engineers, we are also good in like mechatronics, electronics, robotics and all the hard, hard tech stuff and there is still a huge uh, potential growth uh, in that area, both like uh, acquiring uh, R&D centers of international companies coming to Krakow and building up our own companies as uh, EC Group, for, for instance. And the second area, the second growth potential is in creative sector. So there is still a huge growth potential in, like, in game development, in animation, in multimedia, in design as such, uh, architecture and everything which is combined with it. How about cooperation between the startup community and the large international business in the city? Do you think mm. this has already reached some kind of critical mass or the two communities are yet to understand no. the potential benefits of cooperation? I think it has not reached its critical mass yet, but it's on a good path to do so. There are like cases and aisles of such cooperation. Mm -hmm. I believe KTP is one of them. We try to do it to link startups both with larger Polish and international companies more and more. It happens uh, for sure in Hubram, so uh, the accelerator run by Deutsche Telekom. Uh, it happens uh, in a couple of uh, big uh, business events, including uh, Impact Conference. So there are like many good cases, but we are still quite a uh, long uh, way before the critical mass will be reached. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank for you, interview. It's Thank been you. a pleasure for me too.